Now, deep in the heart of West Texas, it's the James Hendrick Show. S-I-B. With half my talent tied behind me, just to make it interesting. With talent and direction, under direction from God. Hey guys, good to see you guys this, this Monday. I want to talk to you about some things. A couple of news stories I found on Newsmax that sound interesting. Well, obviously, this Ukraine thing is, is heating up. And I'm afraid that this reactive culture is further denying the, uh, is further dividing the country. And I think both parties are responsible. Okay? That's just, that's just my belief. Both parties are responsible. Now, I've heard debate all over the place. It seems that Ukraine has replaced COVID. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of happy about that. Now, I'm not happy that Russia has, has invaded Ukraine, okay? My heart goes out to the Ukrainians. And, and people might say, well, Jimmy, why? Why should you care? That's way far out. Yeah, I can pray. But we can also see what we can do to bring about the people to, to make better policies. God-fearing people. You know what I mean? The title of this episode is called Biden Income Poop. You know? Because here's the thing. I don't think he has a clear policy on the Ukraine thing. Everybody's screaming sanctions, 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 sanctions. And I don't know. I, I feel like I should do more research. I'm, I'm not necessarily for sanctions. Here's what I recommend. Maybe sanctions. But let's let's send some uh, a little bit of supplies to the Ukrainians through the help of the country. Shoot, we got NATO. We uh, the last thing I heard we got NATO on standby, so I don't understand why I don't understand why it should be really, really a big deal. We can we can be involved on a limited front instead of just you know, making a quagmire. Because if we don't learn history, we're bound to repeat it. And I, f I fear that we are. Okay? Now, I'm not going to take a side as to whether or not we should be involved in the war. But I will take a side if people ask me, well, Jimmy, why should you care? You want to know why? You want to know why I care? Number one, back when I started college, I read this novel. And I kept reading that sucker all the way through college, almost it seemed like. It was a book called Chernobyl. I'm not sure who, who wrote it. It was years ago. And I gotta say, the situation for those Ukrainians was dire. And it's obvious to me that the people in the Soviet Union, particularly Moscow, had a strong distaste for the Ukrainians. It's pretty obvious. Number two. I have a uh, a friend whose wife is uh, you is she's an American citizen, but she came from Ukraine. She's got loved ones there. It it doesn't matter what country of origin. These are people. These are people we're supposed to care about. These are people we're supposed to... Okay, here's the next story. I hope you guys are ready for this. There's a little bit of COVID. New York scheduled to end mask mandate by March. Okay, these, man, these, these mandates are going down. And I think that's a good thing. But let me caveat this, okay? Many of you know that COVID-19, I call the devil virus, okay? I call the devil virus. I don't think we should go too crazy and, and go beyond, you know? I think if if you are sick, but you feel like you can go to a church and, and, or wherever and still function, plain truth here, use prudence and wear a mask. Health shouldn't be 
a political statement. It shouldn't be a political matter. Health is something in America that should be an individual case-by-case -case decision. But the problem is our reactive culture, once again, plain truth, our reactive culture likes to make us out of cookie cutters. You know what that's next to me? Marxism. Socialism. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of danger in that. There is a lot of danger in that. And Biden be income poop, I don't think half the time he knows what he's saying or he knows what he's doing. He I think he's just a puppet for those like uh, Barack Obama and Bill and Hillary. Now, I know that some people are like, oh, Jimmy. Yeah, I know. Woo, I made some people mad up in here. I know I did. I know I did. But listen to me. Listen to me. Sometimes I got to speak my mind. And, you know, um, I divided the time equally. I, I worked on a little bit more on the Ukraine on the Ukraine situation because the situation I care about. We can hear about COVID any day. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to the James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of receiving the most daily updates. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, take care and be proactively informed. Now, my advice to you is this. Go out there. Work proactively in your own homes and sphere of influence. You guys take care. And please... Have a blessed day.